Hello world, this is Rafi and uh, today we will be learning how we can use the power of Google Drive uh, for training our deep learning model uh, into the cloud. So uh, you can develop a deep learning applications uh, with a collaboratory on the free Tesla K80 GPU. You can install Keras, you can install TensorFlow, even PyTorch or even OpenCV. So uh, a Google Collab is an open initiative. It's a free cloud services for AI researchers. So today we'll be learning how we can use uh, this collaborative applications uh, for turning our model uh, into the cloud services using the GPU. So uh, firstly, you have to open the Google Drive uh, of your account uh, by just signing in uh, into a Gmail account. You just open your uh, Google Drive. So when we go to the new section, uh, and there's a more part and uh, there's a connect to more applications so when you click on the connect to more applications uh, uh, this pop-up window will open and after that you search uh, over here collab c-o-l-a-b collab you hit the enter button now uh, you can see uh, the collab applications here as i have already installed it's, it's showing a, a rated app and now so uh, you can just connect uh, to this application and install uh, from here. So after installing the applications, uh, when we uh, go to the new part or even right click over uh, here, uh, you can see the more section and you can and uh, you can see the collaboratory part over here. Now just click in this tab. Now a new window will open uh, with the environment uh, of the collab. So uh, it, it just like a Jupyter Notebook, as you might be using uh, Jupyter Notebook for research, uh, uh, for uh, classification task, or using uh, different technique uh, of machine learning. So this is this is the window. It's it's similar to Jupyter Notebook. Uh, you can code here, install the libraries, and uh, for utilization of the GPU, you have to change the setting. So in the edit part, there's a Jupyter Notebook setting and uh, you can ch change the runtime type either to python 2 or python 3 so you can select any of this particular and there's a hardware accelerator so by default uh, uh, there's a selection of none so uh, you have to change this to gpu uh, for utilization of the gpu now hit the save button now as you can see it's connecting to the gpu uh, environment and it's now it's connected so uh, let's first install a Kera. So, uh, Keras pip install Keras. Set enter. Now it will be downloading the Keras uh, library and install it to the this environment. So uh, for the testing purpose, uh, I will be using uh, Google. I'll be using the Amnist. And list Keras GitHub code. Uh, see, this is the code of testing the Keras uh, basic classification model. I will be pasting over here. Shift so enter. Now you can see it will download the data, and uh, the training has started. See. Is a 60,000 samples and validation of 10,000 samples. So it's pretty much faster. Uh, it's taking around 12 seconds and it's using a Tesla K80 GPU. So it will train a little faster and you can deploy your own model. You can deploy your own uh, model, deep learning model, or you can use your own data set over here and just run your code over here. Now uh, we'll see how we can use, uh, I'll be interrupting this training part from now. And we're using our own data set. So uh, see, uh, this, this is a uh, open source, uh, it's a CSV data set of different uh, uh, data sets. So, so you can choose any one of this, I'm choosing uh, ELM Passenger. So you can, uh, I'll just copy this link and double uh, get paste drive slash. Now the downloading this data to this 
folder drive slash app. Now I have downloaded this data and uh, let's say if you want to use your own data set uh, to train your own model uh, for different uh, applications uh, according to your requirement you just put the data set or different links and download from there and just uh, passes and move uh, from those data uh, to, the, uh, to the directory uh, to the directory we'll import pandas spd for reading the csv file here we then find the right slash slash CSP. See, there's a data available here, and you can just use those data for different classification. Either you can use uh, logistic regulation or another classification task for the path you can just hit the ls command over here you can see there's a different drive available over here you now you can go to the cd drive hit enter shift enter again ls there's a two folder app and then go to the cd app ls shift enter see the data is available over here into the folder drive app airline passenger so in this way you can train your own deep learning models uh, for the research purpose over here and you can use your own custom data for utilization of these gpu power provided by the google thank you very much this is it